Okay, so here's what I've come up with. So Sheldon's changed a little bit. I think he still looks the same, though he might be a little greener. Um, not 100% on that. He does have a little more earth in him. But what I did is... Mm, I can't do that here. I gotta go here. View. There we go. Uh, so what I did was I mixed in uh, Mukambu and then another turf raid to give him his look back. So what Mukambu was was the little charger dude who had Medina, which is the spell that heals HP. Um, it was another water type, so I added that one in to get that healing ability because I thought that would be really good. I don't know what the A and R stands for. Hmm. But uh, yeah, so I added in the Mukambu and I mean you can see it over there. I mixed Sheldon and Mukambu and then I mixed Sheldon and the other turf raid I had to make our final form of Sheldon right now. Which is this one. He didn't his stats didn't really change much. Really all he got from it was Medina. And he's a little more towards the earth element now. Which is kind of strange, but so he's a mix of water and earth. Uh, on the other ones we have Asher. Asher uh well, first. Uh he's a mix of uh, our Patash that we were using before and Patamel. Um he looks like this. So he was the rammer dude mixed with the bug, and this is what you get. It looks kind of cool. But that one I just went all fire for. Um, I think that's how I'm going to do it, is I'm going to have one that's a multi-class of the two, and the other two like that. So I get all four elements, basically. Uh, but Asher's got... The fire attack, he didn't get any new attacks, but he's got both Agni and Agnes, which I believe one's just a one enemy attack, and the other one's all enemies. I don't know if the power level will vary with these, like, is there any reason using Agni over Agnes? Probably it costs less mana to use one or the other. That would be my guess. Mm, that's pretty much all there is to that. He's level four. He's a little closer to speed than magic. Uh, and then I got this horrifying monster, Egads. This is what happens when you mix the uh, snake slug thing with our other guy that we were using, Skyeb, the uh, goblin thing. And they were both air element. They're kind of like a mix of attack and defense. Not too bad. Let's look at his other abilities. So he's got on his claw poison and he's got wind attack. This poison going to the claw is a bit weird because um, on the slug thing, which I can't think of the name for, I'm pretty sure poison was on the fang, but for some reason it came over to the claw. Just a bit, I don't know how that worked out. Maybe I got lucky. Uh, still has no magic. They were both really offensive forms of squoot. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what we got left over. And then in the stored, we have one of the goblins. Uh, new Shab is the red goblin, right? No, it's this thing. I wonder what abilities this one has. It has poison. Okay. Yeah, so right here you can see on the fang it has the poison attack. I don't know why that moved on to the claw with the one that I combined it with. Because it was definitely on fang. So sometimes you can get other abilities on other spots. Uh, and then Patash. Oh yeah, it's like the guy we had before. And Paddle Chew is the Fire Goblin. So that's what we have left. Anything that I had multiples of, I went ahead and spun into Silk. And yeah, that's our three main guys. I do notice some of them's got experience, so from doing the merges, they do gain experience. Like, Sheldon went from having no experience, and those two extra merges did add, his, add to his experience, so... It's not like they always go to a flat level. Alright, 
that's enough of that. I think that's everything I wanted to do there. The merging is really complicated. There's so much there um, that it's kind of hard to get a grasp of. One thing I did notice is it seems like whatever the first thing you select kind of takes precedence as far as what form it gets. So like, I don't know if this is true exactly, but the uh, dragon, whatever its name was, I forgot, Argathon or whatever, when I mix, if I was to mix Sheldon with something else, it would have that dragon form mixed with like uh, the bug, as opposed to all the other things that I put in Sheldon. So it seems like that first one is kind of like the priority for what form it is, if that makes any sense. Like, Asher will be Potash, or at least the form of it, cosmetically, will be Potash mixed with whatever else I mix it with. Mm, okay, so let's go to the shop, pick up a few things I guess. I should sell some of this, like Mirror of Diva, and I got a bunch of these Ring of Venoms. This silk I can definitely sell. It doesn't look like there's any other way to make money than from this stuff you acquire. Which is pretty cool, I like that. Like, I don't see why I would keep this. I probably wouldn't use it. Get rid of them. I keep the mirror because it's like a defensive item. The special liquor uh, restores all minion HP and mana. That's really good. And of course, that's a better mugwort. Super Spoil uh, drives out poison. Hmm. In a long battle, that could be useful. All right. So let's go kill some things and I guess we'll acquire a couple things too. I still haven't really figured out if there's a limit to how many things you can have stored. There might be. Is this? No, it's a wasp. This is good. I'll capture him. If I don't kill it outright, I'm pretty strong. Okay. Not that strong. <laughs> more hit I kill it. I hope I can capture it at eight. If I don't capture it this will be a good opportunity to find out if I lose a cocoon trying to capture one. I think I do. If you try and fail. No, he's not even fighting. No. Ah, oh, I said too soon. All right, he's L air. Let's summon. Uh, this one will be fine, Sheldon. Though he is kind of strong. This is a problem. I'm having trouble doing small amounts of damage now. I feel like this attack is definitely going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Well, I know if I run into another one of those to equip my knife again. Yeah, I could teleport, but I want to keep fighting things. And maybe I run into new stuff. I mean. Seems like all kinds of random stuff just spawns. 
to keep running through the areas. But yeah, in this episode, we're definitely going to finish off the Beetlewood or fight chorus or whatever. We'll go to that cocoon house. I can say that much. Yeah, we already have one of these guys. We can just kill it. Let me use Asher because it's level 4. I'd like to use Egads. But that's in the wrong element. Weak element. So we use Asher. Asher looks pretty cool. I actually like this one a lot now. That mix was good. And I like the wings and stuff. Fire attack. Agni and Agnes. Just attack. Actually, he is kind of magical. Mm, yeah. No reason to have a mana... At max. I'm just gonna recharge it anyway. Okay. I did a little extra damage. Capture another Patash. No, I already have one. We can kill this one too. Uh, even though this is a bad element, I'm going to use Egads just to get him some experience. He's falling behind the other ones from emerging. Oh, and he does have poison. Let's use that. How much magic does that use? Quite a bit. Oh, missed. No magic, uh, just attack. At least he hits hard. There we go. There's a the level. I want to catch some more of them uh, turf raids. I like what they look like, and a lot of their combinations look really good too. I think that's a good one to combine with others. Though it'd be nice if I can find one that's not an earth element. I'd rather find like a wind or fire to mix. Alright, we got these, we don't need them. So we can use Asher to kill them off real quick. Actually, really surprised like how good this game is. Like, I didn't remember it as well as I should have. I don't think. Like everything in it is really well designed, and it's got like voice acting. Yeah, it's like early PlayStation game, so these graphics might not impress a lot of people, but I like them. But the way you like combine things is really interesting. What they end up looking like. There's a lot about this game that I like. I think I'm gonna take a little detour down this road just to see if there's anything special down here. Yeah. Thought maybe there'd be a wandering monster. It was worth capturing. Oh wow, this thing's element changed. Okay, it's a different type. Yellow, so it's air. Oh, it's perfect. I want this. Mara Drag. Alright, um, let's attack it. See how much damage we do. 61. We do quite a bit, but I think that was a crit too. Yeah, it'll definitely survive another hit. Okay, 
Yeah, that was a crit. Let's hope we don't get too many more of those, actually. Eight. That should take a bit to get them low. Another eight. We got two attacks. He's fast. Alright, one more hit. Hopefully I don't crit him on accident. He hurts. This is cool. I want this. I'm gonna mix them with egads and make egads look kind of normal <laughs> while keeping the air element. Maybe he's got some stuff to bring over too. Though, I don't know. If he's got magic, that'd be good, but I don't think he will. And he's already got like fire attack, so. Or wind attack. There we go. I always forget what the menu button is. It's like the circle button on PlayStation controller. It's weird. At least to me. Go ahead and use two. Get all the way back up. a dust that wakes the sleeping. It is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half-bird, half-man named Kikinok, who lives in the dragonfly forest. Uh, perhaps that powder is brewed from the calabash leaves. This is only a guess, and it's all I could find. But I think it is worth looking into. Here is the key to the dragonfly gate. You should have it. Easy. You better head straight back to the village and consult with Garai. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. You must do your best before it is too late. So there's no boss battle? The divine spirit defies the great father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. The Birdman. So, even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. And there is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Nagi. Would you like to hear it? Hear the story of creation. Elrum released his minions, the divine spirits, unto peril. Oh, this might be the same thing that was in the intro. He spake. Thou shalt not become what presides over life. Spake. Is spake a word? I have to look that and one so up. So they spent days bringing life to the forest and giving names unto themselves. And then one day, a spirit made up its mind to create a beast in its own image. Elrim mourned, that creature is the beast of knowledge, and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. The divine spirit so promised, and gave birth to the beast of its own image. Such was the birth of man, the beast of knowledge, as told by the prophet Gi. As the sands of time flowed on, the beasts bore children, and so continued to multiply. Soon a fateful day came to the forest. One of the divine spirits fell in love with the daughter of man, and so the promise was at last broken. 
Elrim punished the divine spirit for its sin by transforming it into a beast. Descendants of that divine spirit dwell still in the forest, and sometimes they reveal themselves to us. The birdman, Kikinok, as mentioned in the folk tales of Peril, might be referring to this spirit. We should seek out Kikinok, the legendary bird man. Enter the dragonfly forest. But be warned, an average cocoon master is no match for the denizens within. Hmm. And be sure to ask the old gravekeeper about the legends. He is the storyteller of Cyrus and should know much about the fables of old. Uh, did I? Yeah, I captured one thing. Guess we'll go ahead and do that and do combine the two. Why not? Uh, after performing a purification, I feel so sluggish. Ah, oh, that's sad. I feel terrible every time we do this. <laughs> that's like, that's such a cool plot. I've said it before, but imagine being given a beautiful wife, fight these monsters, and you can tame them, but the whole process kills your wife. But if you don't do it, your village falls apart and everybody suffers. Awesome storyline, or at least the start for one. All right, so let's merge Egads and this new guy, Mardred. Mardred. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what we're getting. So we get attack. Oh, it's a lot closer to the attack side of things. That's good. Uh, less magic. And it's faster. What about abilities? Wait, it has two wind attacks? That's cool, I guess. I don't think that's very useful, but alright. And still no magic. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So it should look like, yeah, it's the mix of... Ooh, then that's backwards from what I want. So this is what it looks like if you mix the Goblin and the Mardred together. Uh, Egads, because the first one that I mixed together was the Goblin, that's kind of like the form that it picks first. So let's back out of this. And to fix this, all I have to do is select the Mardred first, and then Egads, and this should give us a different result. Yeah. Hmm. That's curious. So this one is mixing together the Mardred and then the snake thing, the, the squoosh? Is that what it was called? Something like that. Squoosh. It's mixing those two together. The goblin's not really being taken into the form. It does seem to be different stats too, the way you mix them. Like, we're still getting that same high attack like we had before, but our magic's not suffering as much. The speed's going down. More defense. More health. That's cool. I think... No, it's not more health. That's the same. Uh, what about the abilities? So that's still the same. Still no magic. Hmm. Well, I still think it looks better, though it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have the goblin form... Mixed with Mardred. I could always do that. Let's back out. Like, I don't have to always use the same one for combining. Even though this one does have poison on it, which is kind of cool. Um, if I mix Mardred and Skyeve together. This is the result I 
or what I wanted it to look like. But this will be a little weaker. All I gotta do is train it up a couple levels though. And it won't have poison, but everything else will be the same. I wonder, is that worth doing? Just to have a certain look. Well, the looks will change over time. I'm <laughs> thinking about too hard. I'm gonna mix it with the ads. Um, it's gonna be this thing, which looks pretty cool. It's not bad looking. And it'll have, more importantly, the poison attack on it and two wing, wind attacks. I don't think that matters. And all the stats from our previous one. Let's do it. Oh magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reveal to us thy heroic forms. Here we go. Um and I can change his name again. Well, it's no longer Egads, it's now... Uh, we'll call him Ugg. Uh, no more merging. Let's go ahead and equip that one. There we go. Well, good luck. I'll be here waiting. I'm curious, did we heal up after that one thing? Yeah, we're at full health. Ah, that's cool. No, we were at full health, yeah, before we went inside the cocoon house. That's right, I used two mugworts. Well, people around town will probably have new things to say. I guess we can do a little of that real quick. <laughs> oh, mom's gone. See if there's anything new with the blacksmith. You haven't seen my foolish son, have you? I bet he's out playing pranks with that no good watchtower kid again. Tell him his old man said to stop playing in the forest, to come home and do his chores. new stuff here. Plate now. Oh, we don't have a lot of money. I need to go into the forest and just capture things to sell. Iron headband. Yeah, I've already decided I don't want that. Sword of speed. Ooh, that's nice. It's really nice. I like that. What's the purpose of magic attack on our main character? That's a good question. Maybe it's the items you use? Or like the spear that I'm using seems to have some sort of water affinity to it. Maybe that has an effect on that. Uh, the sword of speed would be nice if I had the money for it. Let's see if I can sell some stuff and make that up. Uh, keeping the knife, sell the dagger. Yeah, that's enough right there. Sell the iron headband. I lose magic attack. Everything else is better. Should I sell this bill? spear? I think so. Even though it does have like this element. I wonder if the sword is any different from a dagger, like from what it looks like in combat. You can handle that weapon there. I gotta prepare too, you know. Hmm. 
All right, well, I'm gonna go save the game and we'll end this episode here. Take a little break. Seems to be a lot of commotion going on outside. Anyway, take care guys, later.